All right, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another dedicated YouTube video. I haven't posted in a while, especially some car videos or me just talking or explaining what is going on in my life or just some last second thoughts. And that's because I only like to post or I only like to go on a big spiel or a big rant or just unfold my mind when I'm actually putting the work in behind the scenes because that's when I tap into like a different energy. And if I'm slacking off, like I have been for the past two days, I ain't speaking from any place significant. I'm not serving no purpose when I feel down and out, but yeah. The last couple days, I still went to the gym. I was still making content, but I wasn't at my best. I felt like I was walking through the sludge and my energy was being like zapped out of my body. And I'm just gonna explain what went on. So pretty much I was at work. I got switched to a different crew and I am highly ambitious, highly motivated. I'm goal oriented. My mind is the cosmos. It's literally unlimited. And I was just around people who are the complete opposite. Usually that's how it goes. Like when you're at work, there's individuals who are like acceptable. I don't mind you, you know? I mean you mind your business you do your thing but the people I was surrounded by like every split second a complaint would be coming out of their mouth and I was just so obvious about the fact that like I didn't want to talk to them I was like blocking them out I was like ignoring them but they were just on it constantly just draining talking shit and I was just like oh my god like 12 hours a day surrounded by literal vultures that are fucking losers like you could just tell these people got nothing going on and their life is so down and out and they're so miserable and they're so like pathetic and done with their life that they were just like fed up with me the moment they see me there like how can I make this kid crack how could I break that confidence and it was like the devil was working through them I pretty much like questioning and critiquing like literally everything I was doing and I know why they were doing it because they see my potential and they just realize that I'm fucking better than them and I'm something that they'll never be I'm something that they can't be because they gave up on life. So what do they do? They try to drag you down to their level so they can feel comfortable. And I'm the type of guy where I don't bend, I don't fold, I don't like to be in situations or to be in places where I have to make my thoughts conform. So that's why I have like a lot of issues with people is because I'm not a bitch. I'm not gonna bow down and let somebody control me. I'm just not that kind of person at all. That's not my mindset. I'm not one of these sheep that was brought up in the system just to be told what to do. So yeah, I joined this crew and right off the bat, they realized that they couldn't control me. They couldn't, you know, tell me what to do. And it's not like they were bosses or anything. Like these are just laborers, basic laborers. So yeah, that got in their mind. And I just started, you know what? I was just like, I run this shit now. Like get the hell out of my way. And it got to a certain point where it was like me against the whole entire crew. Cause I was the new guy and they were all at that job for like quite a while. And I was just out shining, out doing, more motivated. And it just, you know, it set me apart. And that's not how you're supposed to do things. Like when you're at a job, you're supposed to conform. And that's not how you're supposed to do things. Like if you want to move up at a job, you got to bow down and you got to be controlled and you got to Literally just have someone tell you what to do for the rest of your life. And the only way you can pretty much succeed is if you follow the shoes of somebody else's mindset. Like you gotta walk like them, you gotta talk like them, you gotta implement all the things that they're doing into what you're doing. And it's like you ain't even your, your own person. You're just a follower at that point. And that's why a job is so iffy. I'm not against it at all, but I'm just saying it's not something I could be doing for the rest of my life. Hell no, I will literally go insane. And that's just because like when you have a vision or you have a feeling that you're supposed to be doing something else and it's just always there. It's just like some random loud calling that's always there. It's so blatant that you have to follow that. And a lot of people don't have that because they shut it out. You know, they're scared to stand out. They're scared to be an outcast. So they kill that voice inside and they conform and they follow the matrix. They follow society. They kill that voice within and they conform and then they become miserable and then they become depressed and then they're just living in quiet desperation because they shut out that internal voice. But the more you listen to that, the more you will tap into your greatness. But you are gonna be an outcast and you have to be an outcast. You have to be separated when you follow your purpose, when you follow that internal dialogue inside that's telling you to go this way. You have to be an outcast. It's literally the only way to go because if you try to integrate yourself into society, and I'm gonna explain this and like, I'm not saying you have to like completely shut everybody out and be some awkward dude who's never talking. I'm just saying protect your energy and don't take everybody's opinion or what everybody has to say as the end all be all. That's when your own internal dialogue has to dictate if that's for you. 
because a lot of these motherfuckers, literally 99.9% .9 of them, their internal dialogue, their mindset is I can't. We can't. I'm a loser. I can't. Their brain is literally plagued by the system. They ain't gonna amount to anything besides working a job for the rest of their life because their mind is plagued with I can't. And if you're a person whose mind is set on I can, there's gonna be some friction. And the more you try to integrate yourself with these people or try to fit in or try to be surrounded by these people, you're gonna lose that I can and you're gonna just join with them in the miserable pit of I can't. And it's gonna ruin your greatness and you're gonna be miserable inside and you're gonna know that you fucked yourself over. You played yourself. So you gotta be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Like, yeah, you're gonna be alone, but that's what you need to cultivate your craft and to cultivate that greatness. Because the more time you can be alone and just listening to that internal dialogue and, you know, working on your craft and working on your vision without any distractions or without any external opinions or without any third party, average mediocre fuck saying something or chiming in their own disbeliefs, that is when you will truly lift off the ground. And at the end of the day, this is your vision. So if you're solely focused on this and you're solely focused on your purpose and what you have to do and you believe in it, nobody else has that vision. So depending on how serious you take that, you will realize that you're gonna have to do it alone because it's gonna make it the easiest for you. Because if you bring in some motherfucker and they're motivated, they're inspired at the start, then you, like a month down the road, they decide to give up and they wanna back out. Now they're influencing you with that thought, with that idea. And if you keep going, they might just attack you or come for you or drain your energy or whatever it may be. Instead of you just doing it alone because you know you're never going to give up. This is what you got to do and you're going to do it. And when you do it alone, you're not tied to anything. Because if this person, they decide they want to back out, you're going to be influenced regardless. You're going to be questioning yourself. Like it's so easy for you to be influenced by your surroundings. You are who you hang around with. And if you've got big ideas, if you've got a big vision... Do you want to be surrounded by these people who literally just judge, talk shit, are stagnant and stay in the same place they've been for five years? Who critiques everything you do because they don't understand? Because the only thing they understand is going to work, getting off work, going to bed. There's no bigger picture because they've been conditioned since high school to be a slave for this matrix. You want to be surrounded by that? Because that's sludge. That's going to drain and take away your energy. And listen, I'm not saying don't have any friends. Don't love anybody. Don't appreciate your family. That's quite the opposite. But there's going to come a certain point where they don't understand you. Because they don't see your vision. And they don't know what you're doing. Because they're living externally. They only know what they see. But you're living internally. So everything is possible for me. But after a while, the more you tap into your vision. And the more you work towards your purpose. The bigger of an outcast you're going to become. And the more these people just won't understand you. And that's because you're slowly elevating to a new environment. And that's the way it has to be. It's because these people live externally they only believe in what they can see so if the system says it, it's, a, it's impossible it can't happen it's mystical it's a fairy tale they'll believe it and they'll die for it and they'll support it they live externally if it's not on the news if it's not on some facebook official page it doesn't exist and if you have something you're working towards that's out of the box or it's just different or it seems impossible yeah you're gonna be walking alone until you get to the point where you actually make it and now you're surrounded by the people you need to be surrounded by. Yeah, personally for me, I just realized that I can't have any attachment to this matrix. I can't have attachment to any girl. I can't have attachment to any friend, to any person besides family and like friends I had in the past. Because I noticed like at the gym, like man, I just don't, I just keep my head down. I stay focused and I work my ass off. And the same goes with work. But I notice once I start like building momentum and it feels like I'm about to like go to that next level and like I'm already out working all of these people. I can just tell like these people feel some type of way that they want to like dull that shine. They want to take it out because listen, if I'm in the gym and I'm absolutely going insane and I'm working my ass off and there's a guy beside me who's having the worst workout of his life and he has no motivation he has no inspiration he's gonna be looking at me and do you think he's gonna be motivated do you think he's gonna be inspired or do you think he's gonna try to fuck with me and give me some nasty look that's usually how it goes and his ass is probably gonna be complaining making excuses and he's gonna try to take it out on me because i'm a reflection of what the fuck he isn't and that's why i have no attachment to this matrix because even when i make friends in the gym you know they like me and they enjoy me when i'm doing great when i'm working my ass off when my head's down and i'm going insane but after a while I just keep doing that. I just keep doing that. And they'll show up and they lose motivation and they're not feeling that. But now we have like some weird connection. So they just think it's okay 
to, you know, try to influence me with that energy. You know, tapping me on my shoulder during my set, distracting me, taking away my focus, spreading that down and out energy. And I'm like, fuck this shit, man. Like, I'm just cutting ties with everybody. It's just me. And that's it, because my energy is unlimited. I don't give up. Sure, I may get tired, but I keep pushing forward. And for me to trust and to have somebody beside me, that person better be fucking benefiting me or pushing me forward. Because if they're just a rope and their energy is just some sludge that's like slowing me down or pulling me back, they're fucking gone. I got no time for that shit. But yeah, that's what happened at work, but it just made me, just like unlocked like a key in my mind of how to deal with things like that and how to deal with people like that. Cause I feel like, you know, the more I double down on what I gotta do, I'm gonna experience that a lot. So I feel like God just put me in that position to be like, here, you know, once you keep working your ass off and you start gaining success, but you're still in reach of these people, it's gonna be hard because they're gonna be trying to like drag you down and you're gonna need a tough mental to keep pushing. But yeah, like man, the gym has taught me so much. And like when I have my head down and I'm just killing it day in and day out and I do that for like for a while, like people will just start coming up to me like so disrespectful, tapping me on my shoulder, like trying to distract me from what the fuck I'm doing. And it's like, it happens more frequently and more frequently. And it's like, get the fuck away from me. Like you're literally just distracted. And I don't want to be a dick, but like at a certain point, you just know what they're doing. Like they want to talk to you. They want to be surrounded by you, but they they just drain your energy. That's all they do they want to talk to you they want to be around you but what do they offer they drain your energy and then once you're nothing they don't give a fuck they just step over you they walk over you wipe their hands like this and you mean nothing to them that's why i don't fuck with them because they only care about me because i'm the hardest worker in that room but yeah when i go to the gym man i don't focus on nobody i have my head down i'm there to work out and I don't give a fuck if it's the hottest girl in the world tapping on my shoulder or trying to like get squeeze a conversation. It's not happening. I'm there to get that momentum. I'm there to get that energy. I'm there to break limits. I'm there to transcend my mind. I'm there for a different reason. Because if I go to the gym and I kill it at the gym and I break my limits, that's confidence after the gym. That's motivation after the gym. That's hunger after the gym. That's a new mindset after the gym. That's a new energy after the gym. Like I just feel amazing after the gym when I kill it and when I break my limits. And that is why the the gym is so important to me because it's more than just the gym it's literally just a stepping stone to success for me and what i have to do but yeah that's just what it is like when you're tunnel visioned and you're focused on your purpose and you're focused on what you got to do the world is going to be against you i don't give a fuck who you are if you're albert einstein or whatever like the world is just against you that's like the animalistic nature if you have like an alpha lion bro the hyenas are going to be yipping at that thing the hyenas are going to be attacking that thing day in and day out and you know you got to bite back but yeah and also like another thing is just I don't like developing connections with people or like inviting people into my life because once you start talking to people or you just give that invitation like you respond to like one text and then they feel like you owe them something or like down the line they feel like they can just intrude on your life and say something out of the blue or just like you know what I mean like this guy at the gym I started like you know I thought he was a cool dude I started engaging I started talking um, but down the road, like, I just continuously keep killing it. And I'll be, like, you know, working out. I'll be focused. I'll be killing it. And he'll, like, you know, take off my headphones. He'll be like, good job, man. And it's like, yeah, I understand that you're supportive. And that, like, you're trying to push me. But, like, man, it takes so much mana. It takes so much energy. It takes so much focus to do what I'm doing in the gym. Um, and I go to, like, a certain headspace. And, like, anything that disrupts it i don't care if it's negative or positive it doesn't benefit me it's just a distraction so he'll be tapping on me like because i engaged in a conversation with him now he thinks he can just you know be like tapping on my shoulder hey what's up how you doing like you know what i mean and yeah i'm very different compared to a whole bunch of other people like a lot of people will be like what the hell are you talking about like you don't want any friends you don't want like, bro, I take life so seriously. But anyways, I'm done with this video. Don't listen to anybody. Focus on yourself. Focus on your vision. Focus on what's destined for you. Focus on that internal voice, that seed of belief. And once you do that, you will get everything you want. If you can truly believe that and you can follow that day in and day out, you'll be led to your greatest version. And everything will try to stop it, but your belief has got to be so strong and the stronger that internal connection with yourself is the less the external shit that's going on can affect you because that external shit that's going on is going to be happening regardless just don't let that plague seep into you or take over you and it can't if your head's strong if you got a good connection with yourself no just meditate do some affirmations become disciplined Make yourself happy, make yourself proud because then you'll just develop a certain type of respect for yourself when you show up for yourself. You know, actually, they think you're fucking them, but you're not. We don't give up around here. But yeah, I love you guys. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.